are back on OTC on this Saturday, man. I'll tell you what, we're getting some big names calling into the studios here from out there in Tulsa at the Tulsa Shootout this weekend. And it, this, this next cat on here, man, I, I, he uh, was suggested through our Facebook page. And uh, I, I actually can't wait to talk to him, man. He just got the win and, and uh, is doing pretty good. So, But anyway, we got Austin Archdale on the phone. How you doing, Austin? Oh, good. Just having a great time out here in Tulsa. So what's going on here this weekend, my man? What class are you running in, first of all? Uh, the 1,200 mini sprints. All right, 1,200 mini sprints. Uh, you running any other classes or just that just class? Just that one. All right. Uh, how you doing then? So how's the weekend come, turning about? Oh, uh, We started off pretty neat, pretty good. Uh, went out there, started front row of the heat race, and a uh, buddy started next to me, pitted with us. He got wiped out the first corner, but we, uh, we were able to go pursue on for the victory. Right on, pick it. That, that you're our uh, you're our third winner. That third winner to talk to today, man. This is awesome stuff here. We're uh, talking to all the checkered flag guys. So, uh, what's up next? Now that you got the heat race in, you got a qualifier to run, and and uh, do you know where you're starting at in that or anything yet? Uh, no, yeah, they, uh, they should have been posted here shortly. Uh, I'm sure it'll be towards the middle of the qualifier, so uh, which is a good thing since they're doing passing points. Hopefully, we get a get a good starting spot in the main. They know that brings up an interesting detail about what's going on out there uh, with the passing points and everything. It's nice to start on the front row and walk away and get your winner's points, man, but then passing points are pretty important, aren't they? Oh, yeah. We had a uh, guy that started in the back row of my heat race. He came up to to third, I believe, so he's got me beat by points by probably about six or seven points. So uh, those passing points really uh, come into effect. Well, just going to have to make you dig that much harder in the qualifiers to get that A main. Isn't oh, it? definitely. <laughs> All right, man. Who's uh, who's writing the bills? Where, where are you from? Uh, Broomfield, Illinois. Broomfield, Illinois. Where and where do you normally race? At? Um, we uh, usually travel all around, but we started a series called the Illinois Lightning Sprints uh, locally here in Peoria, Illinois, at Peoria Speedway. Right on, right on. And who's who's writing the? The uh, checks to get you all the way out there in Tulsa this week. Oh, it'd be my father, my grandfather, uh, Eric Somberg and Roger Somberg. Uh, big thanks to them guys. Without them, you know, uh, this would be be almost impossible. So, all right, you got any sponsors out there you want to talk? Yeah, about? Yeah, uh, real nice sponsor. We were able to carry Speedway Motors and the Four X on the car this year, which we were able to go for our fourth championship. So it was a it was an honor to carry the the famous Four X on the on the car to get that fourth champ, so uh, that was big, and we... That is cool. Yeah, that is yeah cool. it was definitely an honor to be able to carry them, so hopefully we can uh, pick up a W here for the A-Main with them guys on the car, because they're uh, presenting the show, so... They sure are, man. Uh, uh, they're writing, they're presenting the show and uh, underwriting the XAN broadcast, the live pay per view, which is is rocking, man. It's pretty cool. So what's it what's it feel like, man, to uh, to have so many people paying attention to what's going on out there and watching this pay per view and and what's it like, man, for because you know I I know the divisions that you run in and and you guys are out there running. Not a whole lot of people pay attention to them. So uh, what's it like to be the superstars of the? Oh, weekend? it's an awesome deal, you know. Big thanks to the guys putting that stuff on pay-per-view and letting everyone back home and all across the country being able to watch it and, you know, just get on the computer and check out what's going on and follow it. And, you know, it's, this thing's coming a real big deal and uh, it uh, definitely feels good to be a part of it. It is. It's it's a pretty cool deal. I, I will give you that. Nothing like a 12-foot HDMI cable, a 60-inch flat screen to check out what you guys are all doing out there this weekend. But, man, I'd love to be there. But, uh, all right, man, any any last shout-outs to anybody you want to give there before we get done? Yeah, I'd uh, also like to thank Tom Brown. He's our chassis builder, builds uh, Renegade race cars, and I have a feeling we're going to have this thing hooked up all weekend. That man, I hope you do. Hey, man, uh, Austin, you know the digits, man. Give us a call tomorrow and let us know how how the racing's going, and hopefully we'll get to talk to you after you uh, got a big uh, golden driller and uh, checkered flag in hand. What you yeah, that'd be that? awesome, buddy. I'd be definitely giving you guys a call and let you know what goes on. <laughs> All right, man, you know the numbers, man. Give us a call anytime you want, Austin. Thanks for calling in. We appreciate it, and good luck out there this Thanks, weekend, sir. man. Have a good one. All right.